So now we are ready to start editing. So first of all, we need to choose part of one of our shots. So uh, to open a shot in this window here, just double click on it or drag it up into that window. Then we can press the space bar to play, or we can use L on the keyboard to go a little bit faster through the material. K will pause and J will go backwards. And the more times you press J or L, the faster it will go. So let's find the beginning of that pan. And then we say, this is where we want the shot to start. So we need to click on this little icon here that says mark in, or we can press I on the keyboard to mark our in point. And then we'll just play through to the end. And then when the pan stops, we can mark an out point, which is done with the icon that's next to the other one, just there. Or again, we can use O on the keyboard. So now we've chosen which part of the shot we want to use. So the next thing is, where are we going to put it on the timeline? In some ways, this doesn't matter because no one will ever see the timeline. But I think it's really helpful in your editing to keep the timeline nice and neat and tidy. So I'm going to suggest some places where we, we can put the various different parts of our story. So this is a shot that's going to go probably would have some voiceover uh, over the top of it in, uh, in, a, in a news story. So we want to put this, this piece onto, the, we want to put the video onto V2. And we want to put the background sounds, which are normally recorded on A2, onto A2. And then we don't need any of these other ones here highlighted. And then when we drag from this window over to the other window, you can see we've just put part of that material across. It's really important to check that those little blue blobs on the screen correspond to the sound and the pictures that you intended. So let's just watch that back. And it is the same part that I chose. If for some reason it hasn't done what you expected, here's the best button on the whole program. Click on the edit menu and you can go undo and just go back one step, which is really useful. So that's the pictures. Um, let's talk about some other things. Here's an interview. And so there's the interview. We can, I can just um, choose a, a random part at the end, mark an in and mark an out there. Now for your interview, we want this to go on a separate track to the pictures. And we want the uh, images from the interview to go onto V1. So we match up the blobs on V1 and V1. And we want the interview sound, which will be recorded on A1, also to go on A1 on the timeline. So just match up those blobs and then drag the shot from one window to the other. Um, because this is now on a separate track, we can move the images over the top if we want to and play both. That's quite a useful thing to do. Or just treat them separately and then it's very easy to see that these ones are the shots and this part here is the interview. Some of the other tracks on the timeline, V3 up here is where you're going to put your titles or maybe graphics if you want to use them. A3 is where we can put voiceover and A4 is for music or other sound effects if you're using them in your story.